Awful dead in there, Stan. Let me try something. That any better, Alex? Not bad. Got any sand? For sand, I need a bigger wind machine. Okay, strike the window. You got it. Mr. Brady? Sir? What are you doing in my desert, Lieutenant? I was looking for you, sir. I think I came in the wrong way. That was strange, sir. The good thing I wore my red coat. I think you better get me out of here, sir. Stanley, why don't you help down Lieutenant Colombo? He seems to be a bit lost. I got it. Thanks. You'll be all right for a while, Alex? Sure. Sure, go ahead, Stanley. That was a very eerie feeling, sir, for a moment there. I didn't know where I was anymore. And where were you when you knew where you were, Lieutenant? Oh, I was in the middle of my work, sir. Thinking about your friend, Len Fisher, he being here in L.A. and all. Can you think of any reason why you wouldn't get in touch with you? No, I can't. It's funny, I've been troubled by that myself. Could he have been angry with you about something, sir? How would I know, Lieutenant? Right. How would you know about such a thing if you hadn't seen him or spoken with him? You'll pardon all the questions, sir. Ask and listen, listen and ask. That's all we got to work with. It's really not a very interesting line of work. Not nearly as fascinating as yours, Mr. Brady. Oh, I don't know. A moment ago, you were lost in the shadows. Shadows on a screen. Light and shadow, shadow and light. That's all we have to work with. For instance, what is that over there? That looks like a big black picket fence, sir. Right. And what about that up there? Yo, Wagner! A spotlight, Mr. Brady? A spotlight. Now let's see what happens when we mix the light with the fence. Wagner! Light and shadow, Lieutenant. Am I trapped behind the fence, or are you? Or are we trapping each other? Shall we? Why don't we try to escape from all this, Lieutenant? Well, it should be easy to find a way out. Not if we reverse the action. See? We're still locked with each other. Now our film's making its own reality, and there's no end to the fence. We could always just back away from each other, sir. Back away and you lose your light. Without light, you die. Your picture dies. And you've lost your murder case, Lieutenant. You've left the world of your own reality, Lieutenant. Now you're in my world. Now you're living in my reality. And you've lost your substance. You're a shadow on my screen. An illusion without reality, sir? But I think I'm very real. What's real and what isn't? We do our tricks with smoke and mirrors. The mirrors are real, so is the smoke. But is the fence real, Lieutenant? Oh, oh, I'm pretty sure about that, sir. Clouds of atomic particles fly through empty space pretending to be a fence, and you call that reality? As real as you are, Mr. Brady. Right. Now you understand. I'm the substance, and you're the shadow. I created you, and I can destroy you. I could vanish you with a word. What word is that, sir? Kill! Remarkable, sir. Just an exercise. Just an exercise. Sometimes I think that's the way my investigation is going, sir. <laughs> well, mine was just theatrical tricks, Lieutenant. 
Not in the same league as pursuing a murder case. Well, now we're back to the same problem, Mr. Brady. You want to make a movie about a detective? Now, in this particular murder case, the victim's belt and the traveler's check, you might say that was interesting, even theatrical. But now I'm dealing with shoes. It is evidence, sir. Eh? Came off the victim's feet. But you judge. Would you find anything interesting there? Would I find this interesting? No. Just a shoe. Just a shoe. Just by looking at it, I could tell it was a cheap shoe, and I guess it was made in Portugal, but who cares? Portugal. Right. Here's another shoe. No heel. No heel. Not much, but better than nothing. A missing Portuguese heel. Well, it's not uninteresting, Lieutenant. And the question, what happened to the missing heel? Now, that question... Yes. Yes? Yes, I see. That question might get the audience's attention. Do you agree? Definitely. The audience would be right with us. What made the heel come off? Could you discover that just by using your eyes? What do you think? I don't know. Well, you can't. You also got to touch it. It's sticky. Yes. Yes, it is. It is sticky. Probably where the electricity came out. The electricity blew off the heel. But you already knew your victim was electrocuted. So all these deductions of yours, they don't really represent any uh, real progress. Oh, no, sir, no. It's not like it helps you solve your murder case. Oh, no, no. That would really be exciting for both of us. Have you on the edge of your seat? Oh, oh, oh. oh sir, what you see, that's what you get. OK, sir. Uh, that's the best I can do. I know you're busy. I'll let you go back to work. But don't give up on this case, Mr. Brady. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? Maybe we'll make some real progress. Yeah. Well, I'll keep my fingers crossed, Lieutenant. Good day, sir. Good day. <sighs> Just take a second, sir. You'll get a kick out of this. I'm walking around on the brownstone street. Naturally, I got heels on my mind. A shoe without a heel. How did the heel come off? Heel this, heel that. And I stepped on something. Where I put it? You won't believe this, sir. Oh, yeah. It was a heel. Now, that's one I'm going to tell the wife. Go back to work, sir. See you soon. <laughs> One more thing.